Hi, this is Pastor Jeff, and, and I want to thank you for joining us over this last week of Holy Week and watching these short video segments leading up to Easter. And, and if you haven't watched all of them, go back and, 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 and journey with us back again. Go back and watch those videos again. Also, today at 12 o'clock, we're going to be having a service here at Refuge. We'd love to invite you to be here with us. Take your, your lunch break and, and join us. Um, but today, today is Good Friday. And I've always thought it interesting, what kind of attitude should I have entering into this very special and holy day? Uh, we labeled it good, so there must be something good about it. But, but all the events leading up to this day, and, 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 and especially the events of today, seem like they're anything but good. And yet we come together, and in fact, I don't know that there's any other time in our lives when we think back to the loss of someone, or the death of someone, who is so valuable to our lives, so important to our lives, that we try to re-remember that day every single year for the rest of our lives. I mean, when I lose my grandma, I don't try to go back and remember the loss of my grandma every single day. If anything, I try to, to put it out of my mind. I remember her. She was very special to me. But I don't remember that day that I lost her or when I found out about the news of her, her passing away. I don't try to remember that day. And yet Christians... We come together, we celebrate, we, we come together and remember that day. It's a very special day for us. But as we look at the events of that day, I think we'll find that they were anything but good. They were horrific. They were terrible. And so I want to look at what the day looked like for Jesus. And then I want to I close off by looking, why in the world do Christians call this day good? What's so good about Good Friday? Jesus' horrific day started long before most of any of us even got up this morning. It was still dark out. It was 1 a.m. in the morning. Jesus is praying and, and, and a, a mob from the, the high priest come to, to arrest Jesus. Jesus is betrayed by one of his own disciples. And there's a skirmish that goes on, but ultimately ending in Jesus' arrest. And then what happens over the next eight hours, uh, before even 9 a.m. in the morning, before most of us are at work today, Jesus goes on six different trials. He is, he is put before Annas, uh, the former high priest. He's put for, before Caiaphas, who is the current high priest. He goes in front of a, a trial between, uh, before Jewish elders, including the high priest and the Sanhedrin. Uh, he then goes and sees Pilate. Uh, he's then shuttled off to go see Herod Antipas. And, and lastly, he ends back with, with Pilate again. Pilate has Jesus scourged and then sentenced to be crucified, all before 9 a.m. in the morning. What a horrific day. What a terrible day for our Savior and our friend. I can't imagine going through all that in a, in a lifetime, and yet he does it all before 9 a.m. Pilate then at 9 a.m. Uh, gives him over to the Roman soldiers to prepare him for crucifixion. And, and the Roman soldiers then at that point take him down and they beat him and they put that, the crown of thorns upon his skull. Deep wounds. Then from 9 to 12, Jesus is forced to carry his own cross to Golgotha. And, the point, and at that point, the crucifixion is administered as, as the nails are driven in. I can't, I can't imagine this day for our Savior. I can't imagine all that he went through in just that short amount of time. In, in less than 24 hours, his body has been ravaged and decimated. And he finally, he hangs there. And Jesus dies before sundown at 3 p.m., roughly. Seems like the worst day ever for anyone. And yet we, as Christians, call it Good Friday. And I, and I know if you're looking from the outside in, you would probably say the same thing. Is, is, is why would you call that day good? And as Christians, that we have this kind of inner turmoil of, of saying, man, I don't know what my attitude should be on this day because my Savior went through some pretty terrible things on this day we call Good Friday. And yet we know that there's something beautiful about this day. The beauty of, of the day at this point is really hard to see. Uh, that's, that's coming up in, in three days. We celebrate that and we rejoice over that. But for Christians, we know something. The outside world wouldn't see it. 
Uh, but we see it because we know what happens on that very glorious day of Easter. We want you to be with us on that day. Uh, but here's what we know, and here's the, the, what we'd hold on to. 1 Peter 3.18 says this, For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous Jesus for the unrighteous me, you, to bring you to God. In other words, to restore this relationship with God. He was put to death in the physical body, in the body, but made alive by the Spirit. And so this thing that we know, and, and the reason why we call it Good Friday, isn't because of the events that take place. Those should, should make us mourn and to weep and to, and to empathize with our Savior. But the good news comes, and we know what the results of this very special day is, and the death of our Savior is that we, too, would have eternal life with him, that God does the same thing in us that he did in Christ Jesus. This has been a presentation of Refuge Calvary Chapel Huntington Beach. For more information about our ministry, please visit refugefamily.com or call 714-891-9495.